Hey everybody, Jared here for the TGN Technology and the Smoking Android. Today, we're taking a look at Cyanogen Mod 10 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Yes, a build has come out now. There's been a couple of builds for a lot of the different um, US variants of this device. Uh, however, it seems that the i9300, aka the international version, uh, was just maybe a few hours later on. Uh, so anyways, without further ado, let's take a look. Um, so as you can see, it's Cyanogen Mod 10. And it's got all the new stuff. Um, is it a daily driver? I know a lot of you are asking. You know, I haven't had it long enough, and I really don't feel like loading it up with all of my apps and setting up my home screens and things like that just because I know that there's probably some bugs in here that, um, you know, I just haven't discovered yet that may really, really piss me off, get underneath my skin and, you know, force me to revert back to uh, one of my backups. Um, but anyways, it is working really, really well. I downloaded it and flashed it last night. And I haven't been able to find any major bugs yet until today, uh, which was, and this is a documented bug with uh, uh, various users in the forums, um, whereas in call, um, if you call somebody, they can't hear you. Now, if they call you, then you guys can talk to each other. Um, there are a couple of little simple fixes that people have come up with. I think one was like, oh, I can't remember, it was like, turn off the, I don't know, I don't know, I can't, I can't remember, I can't remember, and I don't want to send you guys on the wrong path there, but um, there are little tiny tweaks and ways to fix this, I'm sure all these little bugs and things like that will come out um, and, and be fixed in the next preview, and with that said, this is a preview version, okay, so the title of the actual thread itself on XDA is, you know, CM10 Preview. So, is, can I call this beta? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea if this would be considered a beta. I would like to think it's a beta because, you know, some people may actually be able to deal with some of these bugs and, um, you know, it could be a daily driver for them. Now, one thing you want to see, you see how the, um, see, a lot of uh, widgets these days are being made with the whole hollow theme, right? And same with the uh, stock Android clock widget here. Now you'll notice, and this is a bug that's also documented as well, as I start to move the home screen, the background actually pops up. And as you can see, there's some black lines around it. If I let go of it, um, it disappears. And if I start moving it, oh, see, now it's not doing it. There it is. There's a bit of a shadow. It might be hard to bring up on camera. Um, however, that is a known bug. People are aware of it. Um, Explode Wild is aware of it, who's the developer who has ported this over. Big, 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 big shout out to him for um, bringing Jelly Bean, uh, at least the first iteration of Jelly Bean ROMs to our device. Um, so, very, very cool there. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, well, is Google Now working? <laughs> Yes, it is. And no, it's not just the type it in the text field and hope that you get a good answer. It actually works. So let's kind of demonstrate that a little bit here. Where's... Okay. Oh, boy. It's going to pick... Me. Yeah, now it's picking me up talking like this. I'm going to stop talking now so that I can uh, reset it. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's try that again. Where's the closest Starbucks? Awesome. We'll uh, get it to navigate to my old, old, old childhood home address. Navigate to 4426 Majestic Drive. Bam. Look at that. Fantastic. Where's the closest pizza place? Let's see what it comes up with here. Boston Pizza. And that is true. That is the closest thing to me. So, as you can see, it's working flawlessly. Now, I've gone through some of the settings. Um, there, what I did discover is that you can go there, jump into settings, and um, there's actually settings for this. You know, you click on Google Now, which is a given, and you've got all these different things you can muck around with. Um, one thing I haven't been able to figure out is how to get it to talk back to me, whereas we've seen in some of the other um, Google Now demonstration videos. Uh, however, that's not the end of the world for me. I, I really don't care. In, in fact, I prefer it not talking back to me. I have no problem reading the screen. I'm not blind because I wouldn't have a smartphone if I was blind. Although there is actually with Jelly Bean now um, uh, support for Braille devices, which is really, really cool, care of the uh, you know the Google Android uh, development team. Um, anyways, so off track. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, it works absolutely flawlessly. 
Um, I can't say enough good things about it. This is something that I will be using on a regular basis. So very, very cool stuff there. Now let's go ahead and start taking a look at some other stuff here. And as you can see, the pull down notification is new. Um, it is not transparent. However, it's got a very new cleaned up UI look to it. I just like it better. I think it looks a little more elegant. Uh, of course, as true fashion in an ice cream sandwich, we could jump right into the settings there. But one thing I did want to show you and mention, first thing, is that when you do get notifications, if it's just one notification, it'll actually give you a brief description of what's in that notification, be it an email, text message, and so on. Now, that's nothing new in terms of, you know, notifications for Android in general. However, what is new is that if you have multiple notifications up, it starts condensing them. But if you want to see a small description of what that notification is, you can actually just kind of swipe down on that particular notification a little bit, and it'll reveal a little bit more for you, which I thought was really cool. Um, another thing, obviously, as you can see, the, you know, uh, notification bar is not transparent. However, what's neat is as you start to bring it up or, and or pull it down, the screen behind it or the images behind it start to dim, which I thought was cool. And as you can see, there's a little bar right there and that'll disappear and turn gray as soon as I let go. And as soon as I touch it again, it uh, illuminates all over again. Pretty cool stuff there. Um, lots of basic things like that you can expect or that we were looking at in Sandage Mod 9. You know, the dialer looks the same, call log looks the same, contacts looks the same. So nothing, nothing too crazy there. Uh, we can jump into applications here, and here's all the applications it comes with out of the box. Um, of course, you're going to be flashing G apps, so if you don't flash G apps, you're not going to get the Play Store or Google Plus or any of that that important stuff that you're going to need in order for this to be a functioning ROM. Um, however, one thing I did notice is that it's got Play Music. Now, this isn't the Jelly Bean Play Music icon, at least for that matter. Um, now, while I'm thinking about this, I haven't actually checked. My, um, the apps manager to see what version specifically this one is, but from what I understand, again, because I don't have a whole lot of experience with Jelly Bean, considering this is, you know, the second time I've ever touched Jelly Bean on my device, uh, short of the Galaxy Nexus port, which was, you know, we all know what that was. Um, I thought the Jelly Bean, uh, you know, Play Music app was supposed to be blue. But whatever. Um, as you can see there, we also have our Google Now app itself, which is actually called Voice Search. Not really too sure why it's like that. I don't know if that's the way that Google's made it. I don't know why they wouldn't just say Google Now. But regardless, Voice Search is there, and that will launch you right into your Google Now, uh, which, like I mentioned before, works flawlessly. Um, oh, is that a bug? Go away, bug. Okay. Um, and as you can see here, we've got your messaging. Pretty basic stuff. You've got your stock um, Jelly Bean keyboard which is nice and it works. I'm just not a huge fan of the AOSP um, Android keyboards. I, for one, prefer uh, SwiftKey 3. I think it's just the boss of all keyboards. Uh, anyways, moving on, of course, we've got our, our stock um, AOSP Android browser. Nothing too exciting there, nothing new. Um, we do, however, have some cool wallpapers. Blue, 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 blue. Uh, actually, some pretty high-resolution wallpapers, if I do say so myself. This is really high resolution stuff, but of course they've got their awesome, awesome Cyanogen Mod 9, or Cyanogen Mod period, I'm sorry, um, wallpapers, so very cool stuff there. Uh, what else can we take a look at? Oh yes, so we'll go ahead and jump into the camera app. Now the camera app is a little bit buggy, um, and while we're on that note, one thing I do want to mention is once you flash GFs and you get it all running and everything like that, you'll go into your apps drawer and you'll actually notice that there'll be two camera apps and two uh, gallery apps. What you're going to want to do is just jump into your manage apps, go to the all section, and scroll down until you find the gallery. Uh, you'll find two galleries in there, both of which will have different file sizes. Just disable the one with the smaller file size, because I believe the one with the larger file size is the one that's been patched um, to not have so many force closes. I don't really know um, the specifics, but yeah. So just do that, and um, the, the other gallery and camera app will disappear, and it'll be back to normal. So that's obviously something, you know, it's a work in progress. Keep in mind, like I mentioned before, this is a preview build, so there's going to be all all kinds of stuff coming to this uh, but anyways as you can see camera app is on it is working and if I was to just kind of swipe over to the right BAM there's the pictures right there took at the dog park yesterday of uh, my sister-in-law's dog that we're uh, looking after for her and you know it, it's it's just the stock Sanjay mod keyboard stock AOSP Android uh, or keyboard I'm sorry I'm camera and here's all of your settings. You got all this good stuff here that you can muck around with. And you know, you take your pictures and this is what happens and you can just blah, blah, blah. I mean, we've all seen this in the videos, right? I mean, if you're a true Android fan, you know you know what this does. 
Um, so very cool stuff there. Uh, jump into Apollo Music app here. Not a huge fan of any any other music player, media player, music player uh, other than the Google Music um, app itself. Myself personally, that's just personal preference, right? Uh, so what else? Um, settings. We'll just jump quickly into settings here. And right off the bat, you know, it looks exactly like Ice Cream Sandwich. It looks exactly like Sandwich Mod 9 does. Um, not. It, it, there isn't any changes that I've been able to find myself personally. I'm sure if I went through the uh, insane log, um, change log, I'd probably be able to find a bunch of things that are actually more behind the scenes than they are sort of um, up front in your face there and noticeable. Um, however, sound, display, I mean, everything's everything's pretty basic here. Sound, you know, you've got different stuff in here. Um, hepatic feedback was turned off by default, so I actually had to turn on vibrate on touch so that I could get that back so I know I'm pressing buttons when I'm pressing them. <laughs> um, actually, you know what, let's jump into more here, see if there's anything extra. So you got your NFC, Android, Bill, uh, Beam, and so on. Very cool stuff there. Uh, is your apps, right? Nothing, nothing new here. I mean, we're all completely aware of what all of this does. Uh, battery life, it's been six hours and 25 minutes I've been running this bad boy and it's at 82% discharge, so um, not too bad there at all. And um, uh, let's jump into About Phone just to prove, yes, we are 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. And we will continue pressing this, hoping that the Easter egg shows up. Is it just me, or do the Easter eggs only show up once per reboot? Because I've tried to do this a few times in a couple... There we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ew, it's a black licorice jelly bean. Go away. Uh, anyways. So that is basically it. I don't want to keep your time for too much longer, guys. I know you've all got busy, busy, busy days. So very cool stuff here. Thank you very much to Explode Wild from XDA, recognized developer, and the rest of the XDA community for probably helping him port this over. Um, awesome stuff here. Really excited to see how this turns out. I'm Actually, you know what? I know how this is going to turn out. It's going to turn out bloody fantastic, and we're all going to absolutely love it. Um, so, anyways, that is basically it, guys. A quick look at Sanjay Mod 10 on your Samsung Galaxy S3, the i9300 variant. And, uh, yeah, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, maybe shoot me a thumbs up to let me know that you do enjoy these types of videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Um, I'll be linking uh, the link. I'll be putting the link in the description below so that you guys can go download this and get your flash on. Um, if you have any bugs, things like that, please don't ask me. I can't help you. I'm not a developer. Um, leave those questions and comments for... Uh, you know, the XDA thread itself, more specifically the general discussions thread. Actually, I'm going to link both of them. So if you guys have any bugs, things like that, and you want some help, just go and ask those folks over there. Um, and if you have any log cats and, and, and for bug reports, things like that, you can always post them in the development thread. Uh, but there is instructions on how to download it and install it. Um, all that usual stuff. If you're a fan of Engine Mod, then you already are way ahead of the game and know how to do all this stuff. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, until next time, we shall see you guys in the next video. Cheers.